With petrol prices surpassing the 100 rupee to a litre mark in major portion of the country, car makers and new car buyers are now trying to resort to a more affordable fuel alternative. Yes, I'm talking about CNG and the newest entrant in this space is the Tata Tiago ICNG. Well, we have the car here with us in a winter chilly morning of Delhi wherein we'll be driving it in the cold and urban environment of the city and let you know how good is the Tata Tiago ICNG to drive. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm Mohit Bhadwaj from Express Drive welcoming you to this video. And before I begin, I hope you have already subscribed to our YouTube channel and clicked on that notification icon to stay updated for all our future uploads. And in case if you haven't so, do that right now. For now, let's kick things off with the design first. Talking of the changes on the outside, Tata Motors has updated the Tiago lineup with subtle ones. For example, the projector lenses in the headlamps, they are new and so is the case with the chrome finishing on the door handles. Moreover, the CNG trim now gets a iCNG badge on the bootlet. Furthermore, the XZ Plus trim in the CNG guys only comes with 14-inch hyper-styled wheels. There are no 15-inch alloys to be seen here. So on the inside, Tata Motors has updated the Tiago lineup with a couple of changes and the most prominent of all is this new black beige dual tone theme which is exclusive to the top spec XZ Plus trim. On the other grades of Tiago, you'll continue to get the black and grey appeal for the cabin. And if we talk about changes which are here on the CNG trim, well, there's a button for the CNG control which is here on the center console and that is where the changes on the inside come to an end. While Tiago has gained a lot on the fuel efficiency front, it has lost out a lot when we talk about the boot space. Well, Tata Motors claim that it comes with 80 litres of trunk volume which I believe is very hard to access because you'll have to drop down the second row of seats to access the boot space and your spare tyre. Since we have already told you folks about the changes that the Tiago CNG gets on the outside and on the inside, I think it is the time that I should let you know about the driving bits. Let's bring this motor to the life. Oh, and there are some vibrations on idling, but I think Yes, they do get away as you climb up the rev range. Now talking about this engine, it's the same 1.2 litre 3 cylinder naturally aspirated motor that produces around 84 horsepower and 113 Nm of peak torque in its petrol guys. In the CNG Avtar, however, the figures have been reduced to 73 horsepower and 95 Nm. And with all of these numbers, the Tiago is not fussy when you're driving it around town uh, for your urban commutes or you're on the highway, it can cruise at 100 kmph right below 3000 mark, more likely 2.9 thousand rpms. That is where it shows the 100 kmph mark on the speedo. Talking about its in-gear roll-on acceleration, well, it feels quite peppy even on CNG not just on petrol but this motor has a lot of its torque band reserved for the low and the mid end and with all of that uh, torque spread that you have in your low end you won't find yourself uh, shifting gears quite too often but the gearbox is rubbery I would say however the throws are short But there are a few segment first features that the Tiago CNG gets and one of which is that you cannot start the car if the fuel lid is open. Moving over to the another where you can start this car 
on CNG. You do not have to start this car on petrol and then shift to the CNG. In fact, you can start it on CNG itself. And the motor comes to life, I would say, quite happily. There are no issues whatsoever. Now, talking of the suspension, Tata Motors has retuned uh, the shock absorbers to accommodate that extra weight of the CNG cylinder. Resultantly, the ground clearance has been reduced by 2 mm. Yes, the car sits 168 mm above the ground now, not 170 mm like the regular petrol Tiago does. But the retuned suspension, I think, has helped it. Uh, when you attack corners, obviously you won't be attacking corners fast in a CNG car, but it stays planted. The ride is composed with the new retuned suspension setup. It can absorb potholes, ripples and big speed bumps with quite some composure. Now moving over to the steering wheel, it is one of the lightest steering wheel that I have come across at parking speeds. You can operate it via your pinky finger. Yes, you heard me right. You can operate the steering wheel via your pinky finger. But as you climb up the speedometer, the steering wheel also weighs up decently well. And talking of the brakes, they won't disappoint you either. It even comes with ABS and EBD and corner stability control, which would keep you safe for the most part, unless you have some clear intentions to topple this car. And for that, you have the four-star crash test rating to keep you safe. And since this uh, particular trim is the XZ Plus variant, it comes with all the bells and whistles that are regular or the standard petrol variant comes with. You get a touchscreen with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Apart from that, you also have an all-digital instrument console, four power windows and a slew of that stuff. But the highlight of the CNG guys of the Tiago is its added frugality. The tank is rated for 60 litre water holding capacity but it can only be filled with 8 to 9 kg of gas which would return you a range of around 220 to 250 kilometers. The range that we could fetch out in our test conditions was just around 220 kilometers on a tank full of CNG. But should you consider buying the Tata Tiago ICNG or not, let's move on to the next section of this video. Okay, it's time for the verdict. It's time to tell you if I like the integration of ICNG batch with the Tiago or not. And the answer is yes, but with a twist. Of course, the Tiago now has some added value to it in the form of increased frugality question. But talking of the price difference, well, the petrol and CNG iterations of the Tiago are now priced at a difference of rupees 90,000. I'm talking about the X showroom prices, and it is roughly close to the price difference that the petrol and diesel iterations of the Tiago shared when the hatchback was initially launched. Apart from the high price difference, Tiago makes for a perfect purchase if you're looking to buy a CNG hatchback in this price point. In fact, it is the only car in this space which comes with a multitude of options, including the top end XZ Plus, which is this particular example. And it comes with all the bells and whistles like the standard petrol car. And that is what I really liked about the Tata Tiago ICNG. What do you guys think about it? Let us know in the comments below. If you like the video, do not forget to press that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel. Share this video with your friends. For now, I'm your host, Mohit Badwash, taking a leave. Take care.